Uh, I work for Internet too, and uh, we represent about 220 uh, uh, research universities who uh, uh, 10 years ago got together to experiment with uh, uh, what the Internet will look like in the future, uh, and, uh, the, the advanced Internet, if you will. Um, so we run, a, we run an advanced backbone network for our members that enables them to have uh, essentially all the bandwidth they want. And the goal is to unleash the uh, creativity of uh, college students and, and faculty and researchers to uh, come up with exciting new applications. Um, and they do that. Uh, they do, there's a lot of uh, use of video, for example. Uh, very high quality two-way video conferencing, or sometimes multi-point video conferencing. Where, uh, you might have 30 people in a meeting from 30 different sites, and you can see each of them on the screen at the same time. Um, there have been experiments with uh, high-definition uh, TV video conferencing. And what you learn from all of these experiments is that the future is bright. There's um, an endless need for bandwidth. You can't be too rich, you can't be too thin, and you can't have too much bandwidth. Uh, because people will always find creative, exciting ways to uh, use what that potential that they have. Uh, to do new things and to do it better and to do it uh, with greater quality. Uh, and so we expect to try to keep uh, pushing the frontiers of what the Internet can do for a long, long time in the future. You know, more and more of America's universities are starting to experiment with multimedia. Uh, Yale and Stanford and MIT are putting coursework on online, and that includes uh, that includes lectures, uh, videos of lectures, includes multimedia information. Um, they use the internet, the advanced internet that we provide them, uh, in very creative ways. Uh, they use it for education. Uh, they use it for research. We have uh, astronomers that collect data from around the world and, and uh, assemble it into a single picture uh, from five different telescopes all at the same time, uh, doing that over internet too. So uh, we have uh, uh, high energy physicists who are preparing to accept literally terabytes of data from the Large Hadron Collider over in CERN, Switzerland when it's turned on in a few months. Um, large data flows that, are, that, that enable physicists and earthquake scientists and biologists and chemists to do their work uh, and to educate the students at our universities.